Good evening fellow YouTubers and subscribers. Welcome back to Sam's Allotment. Well, it's Friday evening. It's very chilly. Um, apparently we're due a frost tonight from what someone or a couple of people have told me. Um, yeah, it's fun to nip down, see how things are going. Um, and yeah, it's all looking really good at the minute guys. Um, these onions are absolutely fine. Um, and the cabbage are probably due to come out now and be uh, composted. Um, obviously I've done my flowers and stuff like I showed you on the previous video. Yeah, everything's looking really good. Um, cauliflowers are coming along just nice as well. So I'm really impressed with them. But unfortunately with this frost, I'm a bit concerned. So I might actually put something over the top again. Um, just, you know, take that edge off tonight. Um, grass is coming through nice as well. Um, main purpose of today, guys, was to come down here and de-weed these. Um, and try and stand them back up a little bit um, because the foxes had a nice little roll because I stupidly didn't protect. It's my own fault, lesson learned again. Um, yeah, but I'm quite happy with how they're standing up now with these little supports that I've made out of wire. So, uh, yeah, really, really impressed. Uh, I'm going to cover them back over now because it is about this time the foxes start to come out. So, uh, yeah, don't want them coming out playing on there again. <laughs> um, but, yeah, really coming along, guys. I want to also quickly just say to you guys, uh, say to you guys, thank you so so much, um, you know, for all your continuous support. Um, welcome to new subscribers. Thank you to the old subscribers. Um, yeah, I just can't, I can't even find the words to thank you. To be honest with you, um, with how well my channel's actually uh, grown now. Um, just hit my uh, 600 subscriber mark. I think I'm now at 607 from what I remember this morning. Um, yeah, over the moon, guys. Honestly, you know. I don't know what to say to be honest with you um you know i didn't expect to be getting to 600 subscribers in this amount of time um so seriously guys thank you so so much um for your continuous support it really does mean a lot um it keeps me dry it keeps my drive going it keeps me doing what i'm doing it keeps me creating what i'm creating because you know at the same time i know it wows you guys as well um but yeah what i'll do guys we'll jump up to the greenhouse and i'll let you know exactly what we've been there uh, what i've been doing as well um so yeah i'll see you in the greenhouse Alright, so we're at the greenhouse. Um, I've been busy, guys. <laughs> um, basically, guys, um, I've spent three days rectifying all this soil and getting it, you know, back to looking like soil. Um, what's been added um, is about 10 buckets of leaf mulch, um, if not more. Um, six bags of spent cannabis compost to, you know, bring the height up as well. Um practically a full tub of manure pellets that have gone into the, this whole bed as well um oh what else and loads of blood fish and bone i've also hoed into this bed as well that's been done over the last couple of days guys and that's why to be honest with you that's why i've not been uploading as often as i normally have been um because i don't want to bore you on with hoeing this over and uh, sorting that out um i'd rather just show you the finished product um, instead of boring you on um and yeah basically i've also got my cucumbers in as well either side on a frame system that's connected um so yeah i look forward to seeing what happens with the cucumbers um last year i couldn't give them away fast enough to be honest um i put a few marigolds around the edge so if the slugs do come on here and decide they want to try and get on hopefully they're going to go to these first um that's the reason there's marigolds across the front edge um these are my tomatoes um and obviously you see my potatoes in the sacks and also them they are staying very wet because the water seem with all the rain we've had the the you know they're basically self-filled with the trays um i've got two tomatoes and i don't know what to do with the tomatoes guys if i'm honest with you because i've got you know far too many if i'm honest you know would you guys just do a single different variety of tomato across the back and then do your peppers and stuff at the front um, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Um, but yeah, really worked quite hard, guys, with uh, the greenhouse over the last couple of days. I've put that, that that plate in just there so I could still have access to the uh, the vents and stuff. Um, and I may or may not leave that one there. But if I do leave that one there, it needs to be extended to attach to this one. Just to make it easier to get in that corner. Um, not sure what I'm going to grow in that corner yet because obviously the water butt's there and it's quite a shady spot of the greenhouse, if I'm honest. So I'm going to look into something that will, you know, do quite well there, if I'm honest with you. But yeah, it's, you know, this is how it's looking, guys. Oh, so it's looking from inside at the minute. So, yeah, really impressed with the outcome. Um, and then obviously my shelf unit's really starting to fill out as well. So, uh, 
yeah, I've got to get me French beans out in the next couple of days and all. Um, but yeah, somebody asked as well um, in regards to my garden at home or what I'm doing to it. Um, basically, guys, I'm going to be honest, it's I'm ripping the old, ra old raised bed out at the top end where the grass was and everything. All of that's gone now. Um, yeah, it's quite a big big project I'm doing to a degree um, but it's going to be easier maintenance for me and better for the plot to a degree as well because I'm not going to have to spend as much time in the garden rectifying it where when I had the grass constantly having to cut it it was a nightmare and being a shady garden it's quite a patchy grass so that's why I've got rid of it um, and I've ripped all the raised bed out I will do an update on that guys so I'm not going to say too much um, and yeah I'll update you on that one but like I say guys 600 subscribers wow um, I think we do need to be pushing the mark of a thousand by the end of summer and um, that's my goal to be honest with you um, so let's see how it goes um, I hope you've enjoyed the little update guys and hopefully I'll be able to get back to you guys you know with a, a bit more of an update on the plot side of things over the next couple of days because now I'm pretty much done what I need to you know have done in the greenhouse um, you know, which was the main thing of getting this bed sorted. But yeah, so much gone into this soil. It should be uh, very, uh, very good at growing things, if I'm honest with you. Um, especially the amount of blood fish and bone and manure pellets, that's for sure. Um, and the leaf mulch and whatever else. Um, I'm going to leave the leeks here. I might possibly move them two tubs there. Um, but other than that, they're, they're going to stay there. The two tubs might move. Um, but yeah, really, really coming on, guys. Carrots are doing fantastic in that bed to the left. And the leeks are doing fantastic in the bed to the right. Um, but I'll update you more on the plot side of things a little bit later on, guys. But honestly, from the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so, so much for your continued support. Um, and I do hope you are enjoying the uploads and stuff. I'm just sorry about the, uh, you know, not very often uploads at the moment. It's just I am so busy with this as well as my own back garden. And, yeah, it's been hectic, guys. Um, but, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the update, guys. And hopefully I shall catch you all on the next one. So, for now, take care. Bye-bye.